Here's the thing, if you don't know where the leak is, it can be maddening trying to find the leak and patch it and fill it and lid it, whatever you need. So I want to show you a trick. It's a really simple tool to use. It's called leak tracking. And the way leak tracking works is you pick a face that you know is on the inside of your domain. You pick a face you know is on the outside of your domain and it'll connect the two, uh, you know, point A to point B, uh, showing you in the process where the leak is. So I could grab like the front and back of a lid, right? But I'm gonna make it a little bit more fun. I'm gonna click this face and then this face. So what I wanna know is how, if I was leaking air, I would be able to draw a line in 3D space from here to there without going through any geometry. So I say find connection and it just draws, it actually draws it on the geometry. It doesn't go through like 3D space. It kind of just circles or, or follows the edges. And it kind of uses a weird uh, algorithm. So sometimes it'll draw it in a really weird way, but check it out. It goes down, connects to the back face, goes up that back face to the corner and that's where the leak is, right? So simple and easy to use that tool. Now I got to figure out how to close this in. So this used to be something I would tell people, oh man, you know, closing in an electrical enclosure with sheet metal is tough. You got to use like close welded corners. You got to modify the geometry so it's actually fully enclosed.